in the beginning of the war, uh, Srebrenica became uh, the last standing point for the majority of uh, those who have survived the ethnic cleansing and onslaught of the, the Bosnian Serb army. Um, they came there at, uh, hoping that they will find refuge, but uh, when they arrived they realized that um, the suffering continues and actually it has been much more greater than in the village which they left. Um, and this situation continued uh, throughout the summer and the fall, and especially winter of 92 to 93. On top of everything else, the population felt that no one actually is able to reach out to them. They were uh, completely um, silenced. Uh, there were no reports coming about atrocities committed around Srebrenica. And, uh, and we really felt uh, as a, being a lonely island in the middle of uh, murky waters and, uh, and ocean. Uh, the first uh, sign of hope came uh, one day when we realized that, uh, the, st that, that the, the world, as we, as we thought of it uh, at that time, will try to save as much uh, life as possible in Srebrenica. Uh, primarily by supplying uh, Srebrenica inhabitants uh, with food and uh, necessary med medical, medical equipment and medication. Uh, you know, in Srebrenica, up to that time, even the smallest injury meant the death because of the blood poisoning or any other uh, minor injuries meant that uh, survivability was very, very low. And of course, people were starving to death as well. Uh, so, uh, at some point, uh, the local population was informed that uh, the airdrops would take place, and this was a very cold, very long winter. Uh, so they were hoping, uh, you know, they, they, they dispersed throughout uh, Serbian's uh, area on the hills around Srebrenica, hoping to be the lucky ones where these uh, airdrops will eventually, uh, the, the food will eventually land. And, uh, you know, myself and everyone from my neighborhood, uh, we went, uh, we took up in, uh, to the hills, you know, walking uh, all uh, night long to reach a certain position. Uh, and then one night, I remember very well, uh, I was the one that was uh, at the, the right place at the right time, and uh, we could uh, we knew that the airplanes are coming because we could hear them. Uh, we couldn't see them because obviously they were flying very high. But the next uh, thing that happened is uh, you could hear after they fly over that area, you could hear this uh, sound uh, of the parachutes opening, and if you. Before you know, you could see, you know, dozens, if not more, uh, large parcels, uh, of, you know, dropping from the sky. And obviously, the, the military uh, who were using this, uh, they put flares around these parcels so people would know and they would not be crushed by them. Um, and I sometimes I used to tell that I that I I for for someone who was you know, at that time, 17 years old. To me, it looked like the Christmas uh, tree uh, that was falling uh, from the sky, uh, carrying all these presents and having these shiny uh, lights as a decoration. Uh, when the uh, parachutes landed, people would jump on it and everyone would just try to grab as much as, as they could possibly carry back to their families. To, to us, this uh, meant not only uh, you know, necessary food uh, to keep us alive, sustain life of uh, our families, but it had a huge psychological uh, impact because we finally thought that we broke through. We broke through to, to the world, our, our, our uh, ability uh, and our, our isolation is no longer there. So people know that we are still fighting, we are still struggling, and, uh, 
and uh, some form of rescue would come. Uh, you know, weeks after uh, after these first uh, airdrops were made, um, Srebrenica was visited by the United Nations, and. Uh, I was very surprised to meet one of the individuals who was part of the, you know, the delegation. He literally looked like like the Santa Claus. He was a very big man uh, with a very long uh, white beard and very long white hair. Um, that turned out to be Larry, which uh, has been in charge of the UNHCR uh, uh, food distribution efforts throughout Bosnia and Herzegovina.